Hey, hey, bitches. My name is Elle with Roselle's Creations and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be learning how to create a 90 degree split. I've gotten so many requests on this and it is super simple, super simple. And we're going to learn how to do it today. Um, I created this in my mentorship group. Uh, that's where I do a lot of my live tutorials now is in the mentorship group. I will have that link down below in the description box. $10 a month, lives every day of the week except for Saturday. Every other Sunday, we have classes Tuesday and Thursday. It is a village. It is a community of like-minded crafters and just regular everyday people. Like I said, if you're interested, it is down below in the description box but I am redoing a lot of my tutorials. I have privated about 20 and I am redoing them with all of my new products that I am using now. So we're sprucing them up, so bear with me. I wanna thank everyone for the likes, subscribes, and shares. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers and I am so excited. YouTube's a little bit more difficult. You know, I post to four platforms multiple times a day but YouTube is more time consuming, but I enjoy it. If y'all have questions, I am glad to answer. I respond to everyone. I take pride in that. So drop them in the comments. Hit my beacon, send me an email. I got you. One more thing, down below in the description box, you will find everything that I use in my videos with a link and a special discount code for you guys to save some coins. So are y'all ready? Let's get into this 90 degree split. All right, bitches, grab your favorite sheet of vinyl and let's get in to creating this 90 degree split. I wanted something bright, summer vibes. I am over the cold and I know I'm not the only one, this crazy ass weather. So if you've ever created a V split, that's how you start this one off. We are going to grab our 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl and we are going to fold it corner to corner, not in half, corner to corner, just like this. Once you get your vinyl folded, crease it because we're going to cut it in half. Now, if you wanted to, you can fold this over again to get four triangles because we're gonna have two, two large triangles. Like I said, once you fold it this way, if you wanna fold it over again, corner to corner, to get four, it will still work. That way you can get four tumblers out of one sheet of vinyl. You can do a 90 degree split and three V splits, whatever you wanna do. That's what I usually do, but this time I just folded it in half and we are gonna cut it. Cut it straight down the middle and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get two different designs for this 90 degree split. I call one the upside down split. I call the other the right side up split. And you'll see here in a minute, I have a horrible time cutting a straight line. So that's why I'm cutting it super, super slow. Really doesn't matter because we're gonna tape it off anyway, but I like precise. The 90 degree split is exactly how it sounds. 90 degrees. This vinyl, is in a 90 degree angle. This is the right side 90 degree split. You just fold it just like so. There it is. I always start with my straight edge. You see me taping it so I can show. Here is the upside down split. You're gonna put it at the top instead of at the bottom. That flap is gonna go at the top. So now you have two different 90 degree splits with one sheet of vinyl. I am all about saving, I do not waste. So, and usually when one of my tumblers go, nine times out of 10, I get a request for another one. So, right side and upside down. But for this one, we're gonna do the right side up split. Let's get this vinyl placed onto the tumbler. So, once I get my vinyl straight, you do want it straight, I'm gonna get it lined up. I am gonna get a piece of painter's tape and we are gonna tape it onto the tumbler so it can be secure for us to wrap that vinyl. You're gonna have some overlap and we're gonna get rid of all of that 
after we get the vinyl on the cup. So once you get it lined up how you like it, grab you a piece of tape. It doesn't even have to be painter's tape. It could be whatever kind of tape you have. And I tape the part, the flap. That's what I tape first. Once I get the flap taped, then we are going to apply the vinyl to the tumbler. So let's get into it. You are going to remove, I remove about one inch of the backing. They call this the hinge method. You can fold it over like I'm doing, and you can get some scissors and cut it off. I just fold it off, grab my tumbler, and then I roll. There was a piece of glitter, and if glitter is under that vinyl, you're going to see it when you apply it to the cup. Yep, I'm that person that's going to take it off. Now it's time to roll. You're going to roll onto the vinyl, and then your vinyl is going to be stuck onto the tumbler. Once you get your vinyl onto the tumbler, I smooth it out. Then I am going to remove the little piece of painter's tape that is holding that flap. And we're going to start slowly adding the vinyl to the tumbler, removing that backing. I'm going to speed this process up. And then we're going to get into taking the excess vinyl off the tumbler. Now it's time to remove all the excess. So I pull my vinyl super tight so I don't get any creasing in the vinyl on the tumbler. And I wrap it around the top rim and I do the same on the bottom rim. You see me pulling it super tight. That is so it does not get any creasing. Once I get this pulled and laid down, we are going to get our edge trimmer. Whatever you use, if you have an edge trimmer, you can tape it off and use an X-Acto knife. I have an edge trimmer tool that I'm going to use to get my precise vinyl cut line around the top and bottom rim. I am going to add vinyl striping around the top and the bottom, but I still want to get a precise line because the vinyl striping doesn't come until almost the end. So I am using my cup edging tool from Amazon, but I have a new one that I am going to have down below in the description box from Kale Bell Design Co. That is so much better. So that one will be listed. It is adjustable just like this one, but it is so much easier to work with. You are going to adjust your cup edging tool and you are going to spin your tumbler until that razor blade cuts all the way around so you can pull off that vinyl now that the top and bottom rim is cut let's tape off that vinyl you do not have to do this step but i am messy as hell i am a messy crafter i can do it without taping it off but i choose to tape it off to save all that time so i am going to tape off all lines around the vinyl just to protect it from the adhesive let's speed this up so we can get into the glitter stripes <laughs> Okay, now that I have all of my straight lines taped off, let's go in and start using some tape and taping off our stripe. Now, you do not have to do this. If you want to use one color glitter, use it. If you want to ombre, ombre. I like doing the stripes. I usually do different size stripes but we're only doing two sizes today. It does not matter how you glitter this. Another thing, I like doing these on 30 ounce tumblers because you have so much more room, you know, to, to ombre or to add more stripes if you wanted to do that. But we went in with the 20 ounce and I am using a inch and a half masking tape and the 0.98 inch blue painter's tape. I am gonna have four stripes. So we're going to speed this process up. I am going to go big, small, big, small. That's kind of the pattern I'm going with. But like I said, you could do this any way. You don't even have to stripe it. I just think it looks cool. Once 
once I have it taped off, now it's time to glitter. I am doing two coats of glitter. I no longer base paint my tumblers because I use a 3-in-1 paint primer and adhesive to apply my glitter. What I am using here is Adhesive Apothecaries Cauldron Color. Like I said, it's a 3-in-1 paint primer adhesive, so it eliminates spray paint. I haven't touched spray paint. This color is called Ghosted. It's their white, and I am going to pull each piece of tape lightest to darkest with the glitter colors. The glitter colors I am using on this tumbler, and it matches the vinyl perfectly, is PDB Creative Studios, Hella Cute, Anka, Grace, and Grinchish. Y'all, when I tell you matched beautifully, you guys will see. Matched beautifully. I will have all of this listed down below in the description box with a discount code. But that is all I'm doing, pulling the tape, painting on the cauldron color, applying the glitter. So we're going to speed this process up, and I'll see y'all for second coats. Right now that I get my glitter laid, you can stop and let this dry, let your adhesive dry, but I use my heat gun to speed up the process. I will dry my tumbler with my heat gun and then I go directly in with second coats. What I use for my second coat of glitter is Adhesive Apothecary's Thick Glitter Glue. I place a generous amount of the glitter glue to apply my glitter. With this glitter glue, I do not have to worry about streaking. I do not have to worry about the glitter not sticking, coming completely off. When you apply the glitter, the glitter stays. So again, I am going to speed up this process and get the glitter laid on, and then we're going to get into sealing. <music> Right, now that we got the second coats done, I am going to peel this piece of tape that is along the line of my vinyl and my stripes because sometimes you may overlap, you know, and get some stainless steel showing when you pull that tape. And that is totally okay because we have to remember after epoxy, we are going to be striping this with vinyl stripes or nail tape. So all of that is okay. All of that is okay. Having some bare stainless steel will not matter at all. And I was showing right here how to peel the tape. Yes, there is a way to do it. If you pull the tape towards the glitter, you will lift your glitter. So it's good when you're pulling the tape to pull the tape away from your glitter. That way, with it being damp, you're not affecting that glitter coat. Ah, I hope that taught y'all something. Now, let's glitter that ass. We're going in with Adhesive Apothecary's Cauldron Color and the color Ghosted again. I apply a generous amount to that butt. And we are going to be using that beautiful neon green Grinchish from PDB Creative Studio to finish off this glitter. So let's speed it up, bitches. <laughs> And once you apply the glitter, you just saw I use the heat gun to speed up that process. I am going in with Adhesive Apothecary's Thick Glitter Glue, a generous amount. And we're going to apply that second coat. I'll see y'all in a minute. <music> Now that we got that ass done, let's peel all the remainder pieces of that tape. You want to get that tape pulled while your adhesive is still wet because once the adhesive dries, you will have a hell of a time pulling off that 
painter's tape. And it is so satisfying to watch. And remember, pull away from your glitter, not towards your glitter, because it will pull off your glitter. Like, no bullshit. It's happened to me a lot. And I'm telling you, I over-explain everything. And that's probably what I was explaining right there. Pull away from your glitter. And then, once your tape is pulled, it is time to let it dry. I will let it dry overnight. So, it is completely dry whenever I go into sealing. You do not want your adhesive or your glitter still wet when you go into sealing up that glitter and that vinyl. Here it is. I am just showing it off. Look at that raw glitter moment. Didn't the glitter like match the vinyl perfectly? Perfectly. I just love it. So like I said, dry overnight. Now let's get into sealing it. I know people use all kinds of different shit to seal their glitter, but this I will never use another sealer again. I am going in with Adhesive Apothecary's Binding Potion. You'll find that below with a discount code. And I always say this, I don't know what type of sorcery is in this binding potion, but when I paint this on and it dries, I am telling you bitches, not a speck of glitter will move. I can rub it. I can press it. I can scrape it. That glitter is not moving. I have never had a glitter cup with vinyl, never had it without a speck of glitter on that vinyl. This one does not have a speck of glitter on that white. I get all excited because I've never seen it, seen something like that before. I've had hell in my environment with my sealers, not this one. Everybody that uses it says it. You have got to try it. So I'm going to load a generous amount. It doesn't matter how thick or thin you apply it, I put thick, generous coats. The dry time depends on your environment. It takes about two hours for it to fully dry here before I can go into epoxy because I am on the Gulf of Mexico. It's hot as hell. So I'm telling you that the, the sorcery in this stuff, it, it, it's just amazing. The glitter don't move. The vinyl don't move. The vinyl striping, the decals, nothing. It doesn't move. So, we're going to speed this bitch up, and I will see y'all shortly for epoxy coats. Let's get it. All right, first coats of epoxy. So, I let this dry for about four hours. I was busy live over on the Tiki Talk. So once I got off live, got my kiddo home from school, we went in to epoxy. I use DIY epoxy, speedy PD ultra UV. It's getting hot here. We are very hot and humid, and I want that extra added protection for my white tumblers. My light colored tumblers, hell, all my tumblers. So I like using the ultra UV during the summer, you know, hot months. I saw a piece of glitter on my rim. I had to remove that real quick. Also with binding potion, I am using less epoxy. So for instance, on this 20 ounce tumbler, half vinyl, half glitter, I would usually mix 30 ml of epoxy, but this go around, I only mixed 20. And once this coat dries, usually about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, I will go directly in with another 20. So 40 mLs for two coats of epoxy when it used to be 60. The binding potion, my new sealer, has really saved me on my epoxy. And I'm going really slow epoxying this to show you that there is absolutely no glitter movement. There is no glitter movement. Mind-blowing. All of my other sealers, I would swipe my finger up and glitter would go everywhere. Glitter would go everywhere. I'm telling y'all. Sorcery. Look at that. And I am pressing hard to try to get that glitter to move. And it's not going anywhere. I'm just shook every time I use it. Shook! Let's speed this process up and then we're going to get into striping the tumbler. <laughs> Now 
now that we're done epoxying, I go in with my propane torch, hit it one or two rotations, let it spin, let it dry. Now we're gonna get into the final touches and we are gonna stripe it. So, I use nail tape, I use vinyl. I prefer vinyl striping. That is a preference of mine. I use my Cricut to cut out my stripes. I use all different sizes striping, anywhere from 0.25 by 11 and a half, all the way down to 0.05 by 11 and a half. I have actual cut templates on my website for each individual stripe size that I use. So you can check that out down below in my description box. But for this one, this hot pink metallic is from Tech Wrap Crafts. And this stripe size is 0.15 by 11 and a half. I like being a little bougie with my striping. I like going over the top. So I am using 0.15 by 11 and a half, 0.10 by 11 and a half, and 0.05 by 11 and a half. What I am doing is following all of my vinyl lines, and then I am going to go in, go around the top and the bottom, and each stripe, each glitter stripe. All the vinyl that I am using from my stripes, you can get it all from Tech Wrap Crafts. That's down below as well. I used a hot pink metallic, a baby pink, and a yellow pink holographic, but we're going to be here for a while, so I'm going to speed this process up, and then we're going to get to sealing it in final coats. And you can stripe this any way your heart desires. Like I said, I like being extra and adding all the extra touches. Now we're going into sealing our stripes. So Adhesive Apothecary's Binding Potion is what I usually use, but they just came out with the Celestial Lusters, which is a sealer plus shimmer. They have five different colors. This is their pink and the color. Aurelia. I'm going to butcher it. Aurelia. I don't know, but this is their pink, and it is literally, it's binding potion with a shimmer. You can use it to tint your raw glitter when you're sealing, or you can use it to add that shimmer over your vinyl, over your decals. It is freaking amazing. So I've been using the Celestial Lusters to seal up all of my vinyl striping and my decals to give that extra added shimmer. And... It's just as powerful as the binding potion. You just get the shimmer. Let's speed it up and we're gonna get into final coats. Ooh wee, so we're done. Now into final coats of epoxy. I'm gonna let my celestial luster dry for a couple hours just like I would with the binding potion. And now we're going to go into final coats. It's going to be finished. Finished up. So I do two final coats. Go in with DIY Epoxy Speedy PD Ultra UV. I'm mixing up 20 ml of epoxy. I am going to do one coat. Let that spin out for a couple hours. Then go directly in with my final coat. Mixing up 20 ml again. So I used a total of 80 ml on this tumbler to finish it out. I just love how bright and vibrant this tumbler is. I, the striping really set this off with the pink shimmer, all of that. I love it. And here it is, bitches, done. This is the 90 degree split. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing. 
And I can't wait to see some 90 degree splits. Thanks, bitches. Bye.